colonial en Corse pour justement porter nos revendications jusqu'à Paris. Et moi, pour moi, ça a bougé grâce aux Irènes. Et qu'au final, on a, on a prouvé que même nous, on peut, on peut faire avancer les choses. So right now we're on the island of Corsica, off the coast of France. For a long time now people have been fighting for independence. If you ask most people here, they're not French, they're Corsican. For the past week now there have been serious clashes with police when a Corsican political prisoner in France was beaten into a coma. The people here want all Corsican prisoners back on the island. The French state said no, we're not going to do that. So people are very, very angry. We hear there's going to be more clashes today. The youth are really revved up and they're pissed off with the state in France. So we've come here to report on what's happening. On manifeste aujourd'hui pour que la vérité et la justice soient faites pour Ivan, pour que les prisonniers politiques corse soient libérés. So some of the uh, more moderate independence parties here in Corsica have said what the youth are doing is wrong, they don't want any more violence. Um, they think you lot are going too far. What do you think to that? Mais que c'est pas vrai parce qu'au final on sait tous qu'on a réussi à faire une des grandes mobilisations au bout de 7 jours. Et moi, pour moi, ça a bougé grâce aux GN. Euh, et qu'au final, on a, on a prouvé que même nous, on peut, on peut faire avancer les choses. Euh, euh, J'attends des politiques que maintenant, ils, ils puissent, eux, euh, trouver des solutions politiques parce que c'est leur rôle et que. Voilà. What do you think of the French police? <rire> et pour moi, vu ce que j'ai vu là maintenant, c'est inadmissible, ils n'ont aucun cœur. Et moi, je ne tiens pas tête spécialement dans mon cœur aussi. Corsica's fight for independence began over 200 years ago, ebbing and flowing until the 1970s, when a movement for Corsican self-determination was revived. Corsican nationalists did not want to be controlled by the French state any longer. Soon, things became violent. An armed militant nationalist group formed in 1976. They were called the National Liberation Front of Corsica, the FLNC. To mark their arrival, they detonated 21 bombs across the island. They went on to launch thousands of attacks, mostly targeting French infrastructure. By the 90s, the FLNC were in open gun battles with French security forces. They also began to blow up the holiday homes of rich tourists who they felt were trying to gentrify Corsica. After several internal feuds and splits, the FLNC called a ceasefire. Despite this, militants assassinated Corsica's highest ranking French state official in 1998. Prefect Claude Erignac was shot in the back in Corsica's capital city of Ajaccio. Five years later, Ivan Kolonar was arrested for the shooting and eventually sentenced to life inside a French prison. In 2014, the FLNC officially decommissioned, putting down their guns. On March 2nd, 2022, Ivan Kolonar was attacked in prison by a fellow inmate. Ivan Kolonar has since died from his injuries. Since the attack, the Corsican youth have been out on the streets in force, protesting for Corsican prisoners to be returned to the island. The movement is also developing into one for Corsican independence, or at the least, increased autonomy. Ensuite, nous demandons la libération de l'entièreté des prisonniers politiques pour régler euh, le, le problème corse, pour régler la question corse, ce qui est, euh, est un passage obligé pour euh, aller vers un processus de paix euh, et, de, et de dialogue entre nos deux pays, comme ça peut être le cas au Pays Basque et en Irlande. 
Et nous demandons aussi la reconnaissance du peuple corse pour que le peuple corse aspire, puisse continuer ses aspirations nationales. Alors, où are you marching to? Where are we going? Nous allons marcher jusqu'à la préfecture de Bastia, préfecture qui est le siège de l'État colonial en Corse, pour justement porter nos revendications jusqu'à Paris. There's a, there's a lot of police there. What are you going to do when you get down there? Écoutez, vous le verrez bien. C'est l'avenir nous le dira. Ok, man. Good luck. Thank you. So it's kicking off now. Already they're moving up. Players out. Everything. Young lads in Balenciagas with balaclavas on the same time. So over here you've got what is obviously the more hardcore group of protesters. Balaclavas on, you can smell petrol in the air. Obviously they've got Molotovs, we've seen bags of bricks. There you've got all the marchers walk to the front of what is the prefecture there, all the police are out. I'm guessing that this is some kind of tactic where those lot at the front provoke them, these lot back them lot up, uh, but ultimately they're all part of the same unit here. Lucky me, I lost my gas mask. Uh, right now they're fighting with the police, as you can see, loaded tear gas. <laughs> Under clouds of tear gas, thousands of Corsican activists moved to the side streets as police tried to disperse them. They continued to fight with the police with rocks, barricades and molotovs. So the cops say uh, that there is uh, 7,000 people in the streets, but it's probably more than 10 or 12,000. You reckon? Yeah. We've, we've definitely seen at least like 2,000 people clashing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a lot of uh, people that uh, come with, uh, with um, weapons to clash with the cops. So yeah, there is a lot of people. How long do you think this will go on for? A long time. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. It's the very front now. The police are pushing down here and all these lads are trying to push back to the police. So this is the first time we've actually seen the police. They're trying to push the protesters back now after about two hours of classes. So clashes moved from fighting police to attacking some buildings here. This is a tax building. Protesters moved in, broken in and have set on fire. I don't know, but these... 
look like tax records to me. Apparently this is uh, where the police get paid from, so I guess it was a strategic target for them. So, what do you make of what's happened here today? What do you think about this? It's a moment historic of the world, and the volonté to not let France nous us and it's an expression popular très forte. Il y a eu le refus euh, du suffrage universel, des votes, et aujourd'hui il y a la démocratie de la rue qui parle. As a politician, do you stand behind these youth that are fighting today? On est avec eux et on, on comprend leurs exaspérations et leurs motivations. C'est des militants politiques et là ils, ils affirment avec force la volonté de tout un peuple et de ne pas se laisser faire. Maybe just explain what is it you want as an independent political party? What do you want here in Corsica to happen? Je veux des négociations, qu'on ait au moins un statut d'autonomie pendant les dix prochaines années, comme la Sardaigne, comme la Sicile, comme Malte, comme les Baléares, comme les Mazassores, comme toutes les autres îles méditerranéennes, mais qu'on ne reste pas aujourd'hui dans un système de soumission qui nous anéantit économiquement, politiquement et culturellement. Clashes in Bastia continued into the night. Official statistics from the French state say that 44 police officers were injured in the clashes, along with 13 protesters and one pedestrian. The figures are likely higher on each side. The feelings of the people we spoke to are of course not representative of everyone in Corsica, however their tactics have made an impact. In the weeks since the violence, France's Minister of Interior has said that he's willing to listen to the demands of the Corsican nationalists. He said, quote, we are ready to go as far as autonomy. For now, it seems like the youth protesters in Corsica have caught the attention of the French government.